Oh. Hey guys, Ryan Melrose here, and today I'm doing my first anime reaction video. Um, in this case, I'll be reacting basically my thoughts on the first nine, nine to ten episodes of um, Attack on Titan, which is less anime I've sort of been getting into. And yes, I understand this video is not done like most typical reaction videos, you know, with um, the whole anime episode being streamed in the background of this video and me um, reacting to it as I watch it. Yeah, I don't do that because to me that's um, that's actually piracy and you can get in trouble for it. Especially if you don't react enough and transform the content enough. So instead I'm just going to be using images from key points in the anime that I'm talking about. So, to start off, um, as I was watching the first episode, um, the first couple of episodes during the, um, the initial attack at the start when the, when the Titans attack, uh, War Maria, it's, um, I gotta say I wasn't quite getting into it at first because I was like, oh, this is just a bunch of little people, I'm um, trying to, trying to take down giants or Titans as they're called. And, you know, it's Titans, you know, eating a bunch of people and, to be honest, um, quite, quite disturbed me the first couple, couple times seeing the Titans. Um, it, it, it was definitely creepy, um, definitely sort of like, got me, got me that, what, you know, like, um, what the F am I watching part of my brain? Which is, um, to me when it comes to stories, animes and things like that, things like that, it's, um, to me it's both good and bad because you do want to sort of strike that nerve to the person watching it because it helps keep them intrigued. Helps keep it, you know, keeps them intrigued, they want to know what happens next and so on and so forth. But... As far as the violence went, yeah, it, it was just about, especially those first couple of episodes, was hitting my sort of, um, limit to how much, um, you know, like, like, violent sort of things I can stand. Which, um, surprising when you th think of me who watches a lot, who's watched a fair few horror movies throughout the 13 films, you know, things like that, you know, throughout my teenager life, but, yeah. I just can't really get into a story that's just, um, you know, violence, 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 senseless violence, and that was sort of the feel I was getting with the first two episodes, but I was glad to see that from episode three onwards, it, it was starting to get better, and they were starting to put some comedy towards it, and, you know, and they showed some interesting concepts, especially with how the... How the soldiers, military police, the and, and of course the scouts get around using their harnesses. I mean that struck me as interesting. It's like okay, okay, okay. So they can actually fight these titans, and it can be in a bit more even playing field. Okay, this is getting a bit, bit more interesting. And and it was good seeing some of how how some of the characters developed throughout the first few episodes and. Um, and you know char characters like Annie Leonhard and um, even Jean, you know, sort of caught my eye. You know, what what were these guys about? And you know, and some of the other people we didn't see much. And yeah, and well, and well, for me, um, yeah, I, I began realize that yeah that there, there's obviously a lot more going on and happening with the story as you see you know some of the higher higher ups who live um in the center of the wall and the um you know and the po politics that was sort of behind the whole story as well um let's see what else and by the time um Jaeger and his friends who should get the cadet program and um, get their first assignment on the on the wall and the reappearance of the of the um, colossal titan. You know, th th 
you, you, you um, begin to wonder, okay, this isn't just a random attack, you know, where'd this guy suddenly come from? And he just appeared out of nowhere, and then after that, suddenly there are other Titans there wrecking the place. So, something's behind this, and you know, and someone's behind this, and you know, and Mr. Mr. Colossal pretty much vanishes instantly. He was like, how are they able to vanish like that? And that's when it started becoming more interesting interesting for me because that's when um you know humans are fighting back um and to me it was just um th that was a pretty cool battle scene between the um hu between the humans and the titans and um i for one was shocked when um Aaron Yeager gets swallowed up by one of them i um i thought what are you doing you you killing off the main character already we're, we're not even five, we're only five or six episodes into the show. Uh, and I thought that was it. And then, um, sudden, suddenly, this new Titan just shows up and he's taking out the other Titans. And, you know, you sort of click by looking, looking at his eyes, um, what or whom it was. And, uh, and, um, that's like okay. This this is actually pretty cool. We're gonna I'm gonna continue watching this. That's that was when I decided to keep watching the show, and um, with the um, realization that the Titan was actually Eren Yeager, the same cadet we saw get swallowed by the Titan. The the main character I thought they killed that that the, they were just killing off early. Almost thought I was watching anime Game of Thrones, you know? You grow to like a character, then they just off him. No! We really liked him! And, you know, that was the decision. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. And this made me want to watch it, find out more. And open up a whole bunch of other questions. Can other people turn Titans? Um, what's the secret between Aaron Yeager's power how come he can do it you know you know he hates the titans how come he can transform into one and yeah so that's basically it for my um reaction to the first nine ep episodes and it was those nine that made me decide to keep watching the series by then if it hadn't, hadn't have intrigued me enough i would have moved on to some other anime so anyway I was, I was glad i gave attack on titan a chance and i'm still watching it and, um, yeah, I can't wait to see how it ends now that the final season is, um, coming out. Alright, so thank you guys for taking the time for looking at this video. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan, I recommend you start watching it. <laughs> but, of course, if that, um, type of anime is not your cup of tea, then, of course, feel free to browse other titles. Now, I'm not being, uh paid to say um any of this but i recommend anime lab if you like you can get like an eight dollar subscription to anime lab every month and oh, it costs about eight dollars a month and basically you can pretty much stream as much anime as you want which is how i've um how i found attack on titan and some of the other animes i've been watching lately it cer certainly saved me a lot of money, you know, rather than going to JB Hi-Fi spending $50, $70, $80 a season for anime, which is, quite frankly, I think highway robbery. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll be back next time, probably with another video like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe for these. Um, um, I'll be posting more Dragon Ball What If videos pretty soon as well as keeping you guys update with my own anime project dead girls doll a horror fantasy project i've been working on and you know feel free to um visit my store and get the official dead girls doll t-shirt um the profits for that is going to help pay for the project especially when it comes to you know paying any voice actors who get involved in this and everything else I'm going to need to pay for at the end of this. So, yeah, again, guys, thanks for, um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.